Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like me, one thing I had to realize is I was failing. And I still struggle. I was failing on that gentleness piece a lot in the early days because my temperament is a, to be a bit more harsh, more assertive, more direct. Yeah. And so because that's kind of how my personality is, I actually have to work harder to lean towards gentleness and kindness independent on the spirit. But then you have those who their temperament is is they're not I'm not going to say kind. They're nice. Yeah. They might be people pleasers, right? They might be much more uh what's the word? Just the people that want to hug people all the time. Yeah, yeah. Because that's their temperament, they might actually need to lean more into the spirit to be more direct, yeah. to be more honest. Like, how can you speak to even just your experience with that in evangelism and in ministry? Absolutely. I think God is going to use us how he has uniquely made us. I think, but at the same time, I think that we have to, we have, we, we, we have to understand that we, we, we fight against a real devil who wants to pervert how God has made us and wants mm-hmm. us to be, uh, wants us to give so much grace at times that we lack truth, that wants to give us so much truth at times that we lack grace. And I yeah. think Jesus and the gospel is the, the beautiful balance of both. Mm. And, you know, and yeah, so for me, like I'm a direct person as well. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't, I'm not afraid to speak truth, um, but sometimes I can lack wisdom in in of um of when I say things. Yeah. And so uh, also too, like truth given at the wrong time can be just as harmful. Mm-hmm. Um and so my discipler, you know, our discipler, um uh, told me like Preston, you you're 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 a Peter in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. You are very impulsive. God has made you to speak truth, but he wants to give you like you you, you don't naturally lean towards wisdom. You have fearlessness yeah. but your fearlessness I don't want you to mistake your fearlessness for boldness that's good because um, boldness is not doing what men are afraid to do boldness is about obedience mm-hmm. boldness is doing what God told you to do mm-hmm. and so for, for me I just had to I had to balance that you know what I'm saying I had to balance really okay Lord I see something let, let me let me seek you so I can know how to say it. Yeah. Uh, and so I think God wants to use you how he has uniquely made you. But I also think that God wants you to trust in him so you to to clean up all that messiness. That's good. Cause, Cause I think I think that's that's what happens in our ministry. We like we we operate and how God has uniquely made us, but if we don't submit that to him yeah. and, and give that to him, we just we sloppy with it. Yeah, you yeah. Know? That's why I, I think it's good that to see the beauty in your temperament so that you don't try to become something you're not. Absolutely. 